Hi folks, I'm back with another experiment and uh, this time what I'm trying to do is answer the question of uh, what kind of water does the cell uh, require. Uh, thus far we've made cells that have uh, free water in the cell and structured water in the cell tied up in the borax and the, uh, in the glue and, uh, and we've had variations from uh, cells that uh, appear to be running out of water after about five cycles to cells that will go 10 to 20 cycles and require very little water. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to do here is uh, the only way to find out whether the cell requires or, uh, structured water or free water is to make a cell that doesn't have any free water in it. So that's what I'm doing here today. So what I've done is I took a uh, of the graph oil and I put uh, titanium or I put graphite and glue on uh, one one side of it and let it set up for a little while and I dipped it down in borax to set the gel and then it's been setting out now for I don't know three or four hours or so and uh, there's still some uh, water in there but it's still uh, you can feel it's uh, jelly type thing and I did the same thing with the uh, um, piece of zinc, I put a titanium dioxide and glue on it, dipped it down in the borax solution to set it, and now, and uh, so what we're going to do now is build the cell, not add any water to it, and uh, also not use a separator on it, uh, because there was, uh, we were having water in the separator, so this cell will have absolutely no water in it, and we'll just see how it compares to the other cell, so I'm just going to stick these two sides together and hopefully I've coated it well enough that we aren't going to have any type of shorts because we know that we can eliminate the, uh, the paper. We've already done that so we're going to try to eliminate the paper, test this one and see how it goes. Alright, let's see what kind of bolts we got. No free water at all. And we have 91.4 Five. All right. So it's uh, it's not falling off. We got 91.5 to start, and we have on the amps. Ooh, climbed up to 11.4. All right. So 91.5 and 11.4. So let's we'll let it charge back up and see how it does. But that's pretty decent. We got no free water in this at all. Let's see what kind of self charge we got. Oh, climbing up pretty nice. All right, I'll be back when it's uh, back up to steam, and we'll try it again. All right, I'm back, and it's charged up. Made it back to the initial voltage, and we are now at. 0.92 all right so 0.921 it's going to flip to all right so we'll test it right there 0.921 and our amps are 3 2 1 15 so we went on up both bolts and an amp and self charging pretty quick too the last 10 percent was uh, I don't know, six or seven minutes maybe all right, we're back again, and again we made it back to our volts from the last time. 0.923, and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 13, 2. All right, I'll be back again when it's charged up. All right, back again for number four, and. We made it back up to our 923 and still climbing. Now we're at 925. So let's test it right there and see what we get. 925 and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 14, 5. So we're back almost to the 15 there. And we still haven't added any water to it. So that's interesting, huh? Be back for number five. All right, back for number five. 
and this time we made it back to our oh, and we're now at 926 so let's measure it right there 0.926 there we go and our amps are 3, 2, 1 16.3 huh alright look at that another increase in volts and amps it's still getting stronger and we still haven't given it any water yet alright we're back for cycle number 6 so we're going to test it right there 0.93 16, one of the two. I'll have to check on that. But I think it said 18. Three, maybe. So, uh, looks like we continue to climb on up. So, uh, it looks pretty obvious to me that the cell is using the structured water of the glue and the, uh, and the borax. And uh, when the semiconductor switches on, uh, this, it changes the structure of the water. And then when it switches off again, the, the water structure changes back to the, the previous structure I'm guessing so uh, anyway we'll test it one more time to see if it continues on up alright I'm back for cycle number seven and again we went up in voltage we're now at 93.933 so we're going to test it right there and see if we get another increase in amps or not so 0.933 and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 15 something. So we went down a little bit in the amp. Now we'll have to see on the eighth one whether we jump back up because last time we took a little dump, jump, we came back and got higher. And so we'll see if the same thing happens again. I'll be back with number eight. Well, we made it back to 93.3. Let's measure it right there. 0.934. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 17.5. That's going back up for another peak. Alright. Looks to me like we're, uh, what we've actually got here is a liquid crystal uh, solid state cell to me. We'll be back and try it for number nine and see what happens. All right, we're back for cycle number nine, and we got another voltage increase, 0.936. So we're gonna measure right there, and our amps are three, two, one, sixteen. Se oh, we kept climbing. I was getting ready to take it off. And I think it went to eighteen again. So uh, it's not showing any signs of uh, drying out and slowing down. It's still climbing after nine cycles. All right, I'll be back. Number 10. All right, we're back for cycle number 10. And again, we made another voltage increase. 0.937 now. So we'll test it right there. See what we got. And three, two, one, seventeen something. So we're we're holding right up there. All right, back with number eleven. So we're going to measure it right there at nine three eight. Okay. And our amps are three, two, one, sixteen something, four maybe. I'll plot the chart on this, and uh, and then we'll do another, the 12th run after I'm done with that, and see what that is. All right, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back with the 12th cycle, and this will be the last one. I waited till I graphed this out and to measure this, but we are now at 0.9. 
oh we just switched to 0.94 all right so there's another high voltage 0.94 and we'll measure it right there and get our last data point 0.94 and amps are 3 2 1 16 6 something like that so that puts our last data point So up a little bit. About right in there. Right there is our chart, uh, and it looks like it's starting to head on up some more. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to uh, just leave this uh, battery like this, and I'll keep continue to test it over the. Looks like it can work on just the uh, cell water. So maybe the the next thing to do would obviously increase the amount of uh, structured water in the cell by uh, more coats of, uh, of titanium dioxide and glue and graphite and glue and uh, see what that does i'm back uh, looking at this at the uh, chart here and you can see that it, it climbs up and then it drops down some and climbs up and then it drops down and then climbs back up keeps trying to go higher and I think that is significant and I think what it means is that uh, the cell has to continually restructure the crystal uh, matrix in the in the cell and, and it dries it out it has to keep restructuring it to make it to, to make it work for it so uh, and that's what I, I think what's happening there and why we're seeing these big jumps as the cell dries out and uh, and structures the crystal well, I'm back one more time. I had to let it charge up again just to see, because we're right at a we're right at a crossroads right here. Is it going to go higher? Or is it going to drop off, or what? And uh, I also I didn't uh, write on here cycles and milliwatts on this, so new people that are seeing this uh, video probably wouldn't know what I was talking about, but the people that have been following me would. So uh, we're going to measure the cell again and get one more data point so we can find out and we're already uh, we've had another voltage increase we're at 9.945 right now so let's measure it right there 0.945 and see whether this what's going to happen here 0.945 and 3, 2, 1 20 uh huh fucking A it's getting better I know that's going to be a new high reading right there so it's definitely that's uh, that's way up here above these other peaks here it's still getting better we're going to leave that baby set for a few more days to test it and see how high it goes when it peaks it's, it's two to three times higher than whatever the initial milliamps are all right I'm back one more time and uh, I've been uh, cycling this battery while I edited the, the video and you can see the voltage kept uh, increasing and so I plotted the uh, milliwatts over here and uh, the, the peak was actually on this last one right here this 99.3 and 18.5 that gave us 19 uh, milliwatts uh, almost charged back up so we're going to add one more to it so now we are back to 0.988 but we're going to test it right there 0.988 see what we get here. Alright, 3, 2, 1, 21 something. It is going back up. So we got another new peak. This thing is still getting better. Dry as a bone, or getting dry as a bone, but it's still restructuring the water and uh, getting better. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.